The atonement is one of the greatest things and most amazing things, if not the most amazing thing that we can ever use in this life. The atonement of Jesus Christ is real. And it's not just by chance or just some easy feat that Christ accomplished the atonement. That it, I had an institute teacher, he, he talks about it, he said it, the atonement wasn't, wasn't a, a home run, it wasn't a cakewalk, wasn't a blow out of the park. Um, it wasn't a, you know, a complete shutout, eight nothing win. It was a, it definitely accomplished it. It definitely was, was real and happened and in every sense of the word, he suffered everything for us in every, every little tiny pain that we've experienced. But the atonement of Jesus Christ was one of the most incomprehensible things. It's amazing to see and experience that on your mission. And just really the, just find, so you can't even explain it. It's like trying to explain the spirit and faith and just everything. It's just, there's so much, just really anything in the gospel. And you'll learn this on your mission that, that you get into experiences where it's just like, you try to explain things and it just, just, it's, it's hard and you just doesn't work. So I gained a testimony of really the enabling power of the atonement, um, as well as the redemptive power, but especially the enabling power of the atonement that Christ suffered everything, not only so we can be forgiven of our sins and be, and feel at peace with ourselves that way, but much more than that, the, the atonement is really, the entire atonement is simply enabling power grace, mercy, whatever you want to call it. The fact that because Christ has suffered everything for you, for me, for John down the street, for, you know, what, for everybody that you come in contact with, every little tiny thing, um, when you stubbed your toe in the morning, when you, you know, cut your finger making food, whatever, when you lost an important family member, when when you're just having a simple bad day, when someone just says something wrong to you and you just you just have to deal with it, or no matter what it is, the Savior's experienced that. And when we understand that and have faith in that, not, not necessarily understand, when we have faith in that and even just have a desire to understand it, like we read in Alma 32, having a desire to believe, even as simple as that, then once we let that desire work in us, then we can give place for that. Then the atonement can really take effect in our lives and we can feel the love of the Savior and learn and grow because it is real. And it's one of the most amazing feelings that I've felt and learned on my mission. Um, simply that the Savior is real and He is mindful and watching over all of us. And, uh, like I said, this my entire mission was just full of just little things like that. But especially the first part, that's what I just really realized that the Savior isn't, He's not there just sometimes. He's not just kind of a, I'll just be here sometimes for you or when you need help. He's there all the time. Enable us to have, to get through hard times, enable us to, to just, move forward to be happy because he really is why we're able to be happy without the savior we wouldn't have anything i mean we wouldn't be here on this earth um it wouldn't i started all going back to adam and eve or even before when he accepted the lord's plan and said here i am i send me adam and eve would like even with all that without the savior it would not be possible for us to be here simply because of the fall. The fall and the atonement are hand in hand. You learn that on your mission. Um, your mission, you really learn the doctrine of, of the gospel a lot more. It's just the amazing the things that you learn on your mission, especially in the beginning of your mission. My mission president described it to me once. It was like, your mission, especially the beginning, it's a pretty steep learning curve. Like you're gonna start here and you end here, but it's, you, it's a pretty steep curve right at the beginning and then it kind of levels out, but you're still learning and growing the entire time. And I think that's why missionaries miss their mission so much is because of the spirit that you feel, the things that you learn, the, the growth that you have, the people you meet, just 
everything that you experience on your mission makes it that much harder to leave.